G'day, g'day everyone, just making sure you can hear me first and foremost, I think it's coming through. Currently I'm in uh, Kingdom Alfheimer. Doesn't appear that there are many people online at this time for some reason, I thought the weekend would be a bit busier. So I thought I'll start this stream off by uh, doing my rounds around all the sims and I think there is one new sim around. I saw on the meter website. So I'm interested to go see what that is about. That's good to know you hear me later. Yeah, I thought um, being a weekend, there'd be more people on. But I think they are... Uh... Um, they are slipping. Right. Let me have a look on this media website. So the... the uh... I'm waiting on Drakus to wake up and come back on as well because he's got some updates and something we do want to discuss about um, a new type of possible melon field um, or something similar. All right, so this new sim is Crafty Kingdom Sanctuary, Napoleon's Revenge. Um, never been there. I'm eager to go have a look. It's probably just say region server to be honest that was rezzed it looks like and then just taken off land maybe maybe not all right napoleon's revenge is there so have a look that's a little baby growing stuff for you must be just in the process of building. Pretty cool though. Yeah, lighter, I agree. They're probably all busy with real life. Crafties, yeah. Is that what it's called? Crafties. Well, I guess that's why it's called Crafty Kingdoms. I've played with crafties. They good? Have a look. So that's that. I'll leave that in. That's been a kingdom out for I know that's working. Let's have a look if anything's going on in the village of Sisson. Can be fun. Can I have like, can you have, there's a challenge, is it, Lana? Can you have like battles and stuff with your crafties or? Bit like Pokemon. Interesting. Like, can you like go to someone's land, drop your crafty there, and fight battle? Hmm. 
council minutes. Okay. Centaur Forest. So I saw that come up, but I haven't had a proper look since. So this is also a new sim that has joined us. Centaur Forest. Hey, Steffi. What's your uh, second life username, Steffi? Uh, Light uh, crafties are attached to you most of the time and res by a HUD. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Ooh, this is a bit dark for stream. Should I turn my lights on? Day cycle, let's go to um, 9 a.m. slash time. That should be better for the stream. Oh, well, there you go. I happen to be going to the sim that you happen to be on. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, Steffi. Steph, and I used to play an on off on off on. Okay, cool. All of that ostrich. No, oh, I just called that an ostrich. Oh my god. <laughs> Peacock. Okay, so where am I? I've cammed the area, but I haven't gone to have a look close up. I don't want to scare the deer though. Is that the only way in? Do you have to scare the deer? Okay. Well, it's not my fault. I scare the deer. Mm, try and sneak around. Oh, they must have really close range on all there. Ah, uh, yep. I saw it briefly when it was still under construction. and didn't have much on yet. Just had the houses. It's pretty cool. It's pretty nifty. Breeding already. Got some breeding going on. Ooh, trapdoor. Is that a trapdoor? It is a trapdoor. That's pretty cool. I like that idea. That's a really cool idea. Trapdoor to where you do all your works. The brewery is your home, Steffi. Yep. Pretty cool. So are you brewing lots of stuff, Sophie, or oh, it looks like you're fermenting a few things. It's been going for four days. That's pretty cool. Um, very nice. Still learning. There is a lot to learn. You cheated? How'd you cheat? You watch your videos? That's not cheating. <laughs> I'm not sure we have um, cheat codes in this game. NK apples. Well, that's a lot of apples. That's not cheating because you got them off the market. The market's, it's, it's available from the market, so. Level 10 in two days. Wow, that's a, that's a good effort. That's commitment to the grind. 
but it's not cheating. <laughs> 10k of apples, turn them into apple juice. Brewer level, yeah. Jeez, that's... What, you just put them all into the wine pre or into the press and just left them there for a couple of days? And still have 10k CXP left over. Oh, better give a stream URL to someone who might watch. Uh, I'll go back here. 200 apple juice at time and takes. I can't read the because my little. Yep, okay. Two hours. 200 for two. Okay. 200 apples at a time, right? You mean like 100 juice is two hours? Three. Okay, cool. 200 apple juice for two or three hours. That's not bad. Hey, Freya. One minute per juice. Yeah, okay, it makes sense. Do do. Where's everyone else? I see there's lots on minimap. They're up in the sky, private homes or something, or is there more role play zones that I can't see get to? Do, do, do. How close are these set to? Are they like one meter range? Or they don't work and I need to help them. I need to help them. Are they just not actually animals? No, they're SLC deer. Oh, uh, I'm OOC. Of course. Makes sense. Righto. Out of character so I don't lose energy. That's fair enough. That's good. I didn't scare the animals away. Um, He has a store. French baby closet. Okay. Nice, nice. What sort of stuff they sell? But uh, that is how my brewer got so high, was juice and juice and juice, then ferment, 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 distill. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I remember seeing Clark's fork. He was just going around raiding everyone's fruit trees. So he could level up his brewer. Baby clothes? Oh, yeah. It's pretty nice. Can I walk up that or do I have to click it? I have to click it. Bing. All right. All right, next sim on the list to have a look at. So this was the Centaur Forest. And if you haven't seen the list of sims, I'm going to link them in chat for you. Um, you can get them here. So we did Kingdom Alfheimer. I've gone to Village of Sison. Kingdom Alfheimer, uh, Freya, that's the sim. It's Regina sim. Um, you used to be a member of that. It's still just as large. It's one sim now, but... Uh, Kamura, Kraken Cove, been here a few times, but I'll just have a look. I'm just doing rounds, seeing if there's any inactive sims and stuff like that, and showing our community off. The trapdoor in a brewery, there's a trapdoor in a brewery. All right, quick, we're back. Does that take me to some dungeon or something, or? I haven't got RLV on, all right? No, there it is. Minimize that for a sec. Oh, I end up. Cool. Got all your wines growing up here. Nice. Oh, sorry, wines. Grapes in other fields. Nice, nice. 
right, Kimura, buy the book Pani. So it's a re it's a gore? I didn't know it was a gore sim, though. No? Actually, I should probably get in touch with him because he he has been waiting. Kai, going here. Kai Momoko has been waiting a long time for us to have editable, modifiable fields, and all the fields are now just recently updated to completely mod, so he can make his sim really the way he wants now. Going the right way. I think I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, I'd rather go the pathway, guys. I've decided I'm upgrading my PC. So the PC I'm on now will become my streaming PC. And all the new parts I buy will go into a new gaming PC so I get better frame rates out of Second Life. So this is on Ultra. It's not doing too bad with an old graphics card. It's doing 30, 30 frames a second or so. It's not too bad considering. Um, energy and watermelon. Yeah, so yeah, let's discuss that. Dracus isn't here, but we may as well discuss it because there are a few of you viewing. Um, and feel free to chat. I am watching chat. Um, so Dracus and I did have a concept of what are your thoughts on having a new field type, which is called obviously the melon field, as you saw lighter chat, um, and it will it will have melons, but it will have some other things as well. Um, so so we can get some things that we can't get out of the other fields. So for example, strawberries, as lighter was saying, honeydew, watermelon. We have rock melon. Um, we can have cantaloupe. Mm, I told Drac, he said uh, kiwi fruit, but you can't really have kiwi fruit in that type of field because kiwi fruit kind of grows on a top of tree. It's a bit like a, almost like gooseberries in, and stuff. You have to remember kiwi fruit are actually not from New Zealand. They're actually a Chinese fruit um, originating from the gooseberry, I believe, from my research. Some GNS stuff here and SLC stuff mixed in. Um, so it'd be another field, same same sizes, we'd have large, medium, uh, small, but they'd focus on, yep, there was pumpkins as well, Lottie, all right, thank you, pumpkins um, as well. I wonder if he's actually already modified his, no, he hasn't, no, Rasford. so this is what he meant, he wanted his fields to be mods so he can make them suit areas like this, and now he can, so he could... Um, Put them in here, modify our fields, and make them work in his theme, which would be really cool. Yep, cool. It is from the Chinese gooseberry, I was right. Always thought it was a kiwi fruit, as in from kiwis, New Zealand. I now take away the credit from their pavlova. It is an Australian cake, all right, so if there's any kiwis online, watching the stream, I'm going to argue with you that it is an Australian dessert. <laughs> we don't actually know who really invented it, but it's just a cool argument to have when you have kiwi friends. And then you tell them that kiwi fruit is also not from New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy pumpkin pie and pumpkin soup. Mm. Also, Halloween is coming up um, very quick, so having... The ability to grow pumpkins uh, would be pretty cool. I like this little town in here. But um, where do you think, like, what about strawberries and things? Should they go in a melon field? Another sim. I've done Kamimura SLCGB Estate uh, by Black. Is it region? There we go. Jack O' Lanterns. Oh, yeah. 
jack-o'-lanterns. That's actually a cool idea. If we have pumpkins, we could make reservoir little things you could put out jack-o'-lanterns and stuff. That's for Halloween, specifically. Like a special item that you can only get in Halloween, maybe. Who knows? That's a good idea. I like that idea, Freya. No one on sim either. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought I would start a stream on a weekend. Normally there are more people on. And we'd go to these sims and there'd be people working and doing their thing. Um, strawberry wine would be awesome. Mm-hmm. And sake and all that stuff. All types of things. It would work well. Um, okay, we've got Anthanasia Roleplay and Fantasy. Annalise. I've been here a couple times. I don't know what type of roleplay it is. I can't. It's not gore. And I don't want to interrupt people's roleplay if it's not, you know, SLC stuff and it's, um, you're like, I don't want to walk in the middle of it. Rice wine, suck it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, I'm just loading here. I'm looking into the brewery, it looks like. Oh, not the brewery, the uh, tavern. Over there, there's, it looks to be a naked tavern keeper over there. Don't want to get too nudity, too much nudity on stream because it is on YouTube Live. This must be their market you walk through before you go to their role play zones. Prims for our extra prims for tenants. Okay, so they got rentals. Actually, there was a thing we could saw. Whoop. We could ride this tour of the city. Sit on the red carpet to begin your tour. Ooh, Aladdin. Please stay seated, waiting 10 seconds for a passenger. Oh, no passengers. All right, what happens? Hey, hey, let's have a tour. Strawberry mead, hmm. We can do mead now, Freya. Ooh -hoo. Have you seen, uh, you wouldn't know the, diff the changes to our brewing system now, Freya. We have made the brewing system completely uh, player-crafted ingredients or player-crafted uh, brews. So no longer set recipes that we had. So we've completely finished it now. Oh, there's Annalise up there. Oh, I just saw the owner hiding. Um, so now, yeah, you can um, make your own alcohols completely from scratch. So that's pretty cool. A bit like cooking was and alchemy. Hmm. Yep. So you start with your, you can make your juices. So far, the only thing in brewing that you can't really do yourself is the press, the wine press. So we've got set recipes for the types of juices. We might change that. So you can juice anything, I guess, maybe, possibly. Don't know. But your juices, then you bring it to a mash tun. You can put anything in the mash tun that is solid with starch has to have starch uh, and convert that into a mash that uh, has sugars yep lighter says at lichen sanctuary we have a line of like an ls liquor lichen sanctuary liquor yep uh, then you bring uh, your mash or other solids and liquids to your fermentor uh, and uh, combine that with some yeast and you'll convert your sugars into uh, alcohol um, and your alcohol stat will increase over time, and there is a working hydrometer on the mesh design. You can, if you want to get updated, you can uh, have a look at the new videos or our new website, slcolonies.com. Since um, we, so Freya used to be a player um, on uh, Kingdom Alfheimer before Regina and I went into that uh, Counter Earth project on Outer Sims, which we all admitted was an error. 
me apart. Well, it was fun, but it's a huge project to try and complete 256 Sims with just two people and no team. And also not really being able to focus on the community within Second Life kind of screwed us as well. <laughs> In hindsight. It's a library. Interesting carpet, flying carpet thing. Last night added LS Jolly Rum. Mmm. The wild berries. Mmm. Oh, hang on, what am I doing? Yeah. Zoom in. Um, so you mean the wild berries you get in a compass lighter? Yeah, we do have a lot of wild berries in the compass. It'd be good to be able to juice them, I suppose, yeah. They wouldn't be that hard to add. I'll just have to add them to the juice press. Uh, one press, and then you could be able to juice them. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, I'll add all the wild berries to the wine press um, in the same formula as everything else, two for one. Uh, is it two for one? Yeah, two for one. Um, buying them from the market, yeah. That's all right. I'm from the market or try and get them from the compass. Same thing. They're not that. I don't think they're expensive fruit, are they? They're not like one coin each or something. Um, all right. I'll do that. I'll work on that uh, this afternoon or tomorrow morning. I'll see what time I've got. I'll put all the fruits. I'll create fruit recipes for the wine press and I'll create an announcement for you. It's a good idea. Uh, some more fresh content over here. Mm. Hey, Regina. Good to see you. Sleepyhead. Two for one. Just to the stove. Okay. Oh, you've been making them that way, the juices, have you? That's a good idea. You can even do it in the cooking, but I can, um, I can still just make that move that recipe over to the wine press at a cooking station easily enough with everything else. The press would be easy. It would make more sense, wouldn't it? Where am I? I'm in some kind of market. So there's all this chat going on in there. Uh, RP, I'll explain a bit of the gods. We will be coming upon the arena soon. Slaves can be traded here and executions done, as well as tournaments fought. The dragons love to roost around here too. Up here is the offering temple. Uh, it's pretty cool, this... Uh... Yeah, it's cool. Flowers, crystals, and slaves are offered to the gods and demigods here. Ho, ho, ho. Pretty cool. The demigods usually take slaves, but sometimes they will demand the wife of a villager, if she is very beautiful. The priests and priestesses are the only safe people on our island. So if you want to roleplay here, no two selves. Roleplay as a priest or priestess only. <laughs> really cool. Eek. It is a great honor to be chosen by the gods. Oh, okay. This powerful medicine we have is given as a reward from the demigods. Hmm. And if you get taken by the gods, you get to play in a like a heaven or paradise of sorts. <laughs> uh, the apothecary shop is here in the city. The moon poppy tinctures are prepared here too. Hmm. You can also find a bakery, seamstress, and other shops here in the city. There is lots of work to be done. Uh, 
Rooms are cheaper here than in a palace if you need a home. Okay. If you look up in the ceilings, you can see paintings of Arisha, the mermaid goddess. Ooh. The gardens are meant to be enjoyed by everyone. Fig tree and orange tree looks like there. It's pretty cool. I feel like I need a little bit of music in the background. Let's do that. So, that, that should be okay there. Not too loud, I hope. Good. You should add tomatoes to the juice press too. Tomatoes. Ah. Oh. But uh, I've got to, I've got to keep notes of all this, not just the fruit, wild fruit. Ooh, where am I going here? They put me in a... But also the tomatoes. Is it tomato or tomato? Can we have a debate? Or is it tomato, tomato, same, same. Potato, patata. like this debate. Mermaids have a secret life underwater. We have been through here before on this tour, but be patient. Something amazing awaits you. I'm going to tell you more about the mermaids. But you must hold on tight again. Get to pay no attention to the pile of human bones. Follow the magic mushrooms. Oh, magic mushrooms. Here we go. Remember the painting in the ceiling of the palace? That beautiful mermaid? That mermaid is Arisha. She was a human woman, an Anastasian God had chosen her, but she'd never lain with a man or God before. She had an independent spirit. Rather than submit to the God, she threw herself from the Tower of Sacrifice. Is that that? That Tower of... Whoa. Where am I? Whoa. This is interesting. What? We did not under... Serpent breathed life into her lungs and filled her womb. She was transformed to a mermaid. She gave birth to 14 beautiful mermaids. Wow. Lighter, I accept both pronunciations also. It's a nice ride, Lyra. It is a nice ride. There is a bit to see. I thought it was just going to be a quick... I thought it was going to be a um, one of those tours where you just go around the outside of the city and look around. But this is... Um, it's actually given you a whole story as well while doing the tour. I wonder if these things can also teleport because that'd be good if you've got like Regina Sim, for example, if you've got multiple layers um, or even like your Sim Lyra. You know, you've got multiple altitudes that you want to show people of what they can do on your land. It'd be good if it doesn't have to fly up and it can, like, just teleport you up as well. The only thing is, like this, um, like what happened to me there, you have to, when you've set up the tour, you have to remember where it goes so you don't put things in the way of it and you end up flying through it. So we're under the water still. Pretty, that was pretty cool. And there's bubbles. I'm going to go out of the water. They can be rigged to TP. It's all underwater kingdom. The Orishay cannot be enslaved by humans or gods. And there are royal merlings. Okay. It's actually a lot more than I thought on this sim. I've never seen this. This concludes our tour. You may use a teleporter here to get back to the harbour. Good luck to you. Oh, they end you here. I'm underwater. How can I breathe? 
understand. Wow. That was cool. Your sister had a car that uses the teleporter from Novatech. Okay. Uh, jump. That was a laggy jump. Press jump. Five seconds later, I jumped. That was cool. All right, next one. Autumn Nest, Zolabel Residence. See what's been going on here. Visit location. Teleport. Now, don't forget, guys, be active in chat and you earn uh, coins or loyalty points that you can use towards a raffle that we'll run in the next 45 minutes or so. Um, and the raffle includes items that you can win from SLC. And they can be anything. Uh, they can be in-game items. They can be actual in-store items like gatherables and such. And then if you type in exclamation mark points, you will see how many points you have, such as like so. Um, but if you don't chat, um, if you're not active in chat every now and again, you will not get uh, points. Now, this is all on mainland, and it's pretty cool. I didn't realize it was this big. I thought originally that Autumn Nest was just this little block here. But actually, it goes all the way, this whole mainland region. And there is a lot here as well. So Autumn Nest is another good sim you can go visit, um, do some trade. Yeah, why is it not giving us our points? Is the bot asleep? Hmm. Top. Let's have a look. I'll log into Streamlabs. See what's going on here with the cloud bot. Log in. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na -na um, log in with it. I'm just logging into Streamlabs, see what's going on with the bot. Might be sleeping. Streamlabs, just give me a sec. Ganymede will often go to Autumn Nest to play the Merchant minigame. Yeah, cool. You go nearly every sim with Ganymede, don't you? Anyone with a merchant, a market anyway. Uh, what's going on? Cloudbot. It's on. Oh, Cloudbot's off. Why is it off? Yeah, now it's on. I wonder if Drakus turned it off on one of his streams because it was uh, flooding his chat or something and he hasn't turned it back on. It's a possibility. So now if you type in points, we should now get our results, right? I've turned it back on. Let's come on. Come on. Come on. Is it on YouTube? Yes, it's on YouTube. There we go. Okay. Regina. Zolabel is a wonderful person that runs Autumn Nest. She comes by a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a wonderful person. Everyone in our community is wonderful people. We've got a wonderful community. We'll stop. Cannot deny that. Still got the old fields here though. Got a uh, old um, veggie. Uh, sorry, wet, wet fields. The new ones no longer grow <clears throat> around there. Freya, zero. Hang on, uh, Freya. Oh, because you've been here since for a while, I'm just going to credit you some points. Everyone, some points. All right, hang on. Um, everyone that was here, loyalty. Let's add points to all viewers. We'll give everyone. Uh, 10 points. Right. Everyone's received 10 points. Now you got 10 points. So at the end of the stream, I'll do a um, giveaway. You can, you with those points, you can buy some raffle tickets for the giveaway. Still thinking what it's going to be though. 
I always use I always ask the community what they would like um, to have on a raffle. Jeez, this is a jump. Whoa! Dragon flying around and everything. Well, I had to give points. I didn't realize, Freya, that the uh, cloud bot, our bot, was not working during the start of the stream. So you would have earned points without even knowing. <laughs> oh, yeah, so you were able to take the... Yeah, because the new fields now have security. And you could take your monsters away. Um, now you can use the monsters for something else. Okay, let's start. Um, this next one is going to be Crimson Hollow Voodon, I think that was. So he's also not um, Dorian. Um, and they have not been around for a little while either. Dun, 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 dun. Sim has been here for a very long time, but the owners, I think, are very busy with real life, so they haven't been in Second Life. I've got this whole, I'll just cheat since I'm in OOC anyway. This whole village that you can join. You can't join it if there's no owners around to accept your membership, right? It's a shame. Dorian. Jordan. Hmm. Also a good place. Yeah, they do have the market. So they updated the market with the Merchant mini game. That's good. Do some fishing here as well. Ah, oh, we were... Uh, Dracus and I were also discussing uh, the fishing and other things like gathering and such. But we're going to add... Not really, well, with it, I know some people want skills, fishing skills, but, and I know we also want to do the fishing tournament, um, but I'm thinking we could have a generic, hmm, thinking out loud here. Well, for fishing, for example, you could have the tawny board, or you could have a, uh, where it changes the loot table of the fish you catch, and some of the bigger fish can be weighed, um, and... I mean, the highest weighing fish would win the tawny. But the other thing, there'd be new things in the loot tables for gathering and fishing. You turn it on as the owner, so you have a server. Um, you can load it with items that you want to add to the loot table that they could win. Um, but we'll also add other things that you can get, like a special coin that you can only get while the, while the contest is on, whether it's fishing, gathering, uh, uh, gathering from ores and gathering from uh, other things but let's say it's a special coin and then you come back into the main store with this special coin and you can actually buy something during the game that you cannot get anywhere else with that coin whether it's i don't know actual um, slc coin in return or lindens or anything like that that we host in the main store um during the contest but you as the owner to to get your land to participate you would load uh slc coin into it um and well this is a really really early stage of thinking about it it will get listed on the website a bit like the merchant uh the marketplaces do but it only lists active uh contest sims if you want it listed um and it increases i guess the gathering or on your land or something like that i don't know what are your thoughts Changing the loot tables would be cool. You can load the server with your own things. So if you want to load um, your own special alcohols that you brewed for people to win while fishing or gathering or harvesting, you can uh, increase, you can change the loot tables a little bit, a little bit. 
Okay, next sim, uh, we've got Dark Watch Stables, Angel's Whisper, also cool. Trekkus was supposed to join me on stream, but I think he has literally fallen asleep. We have a lot of people on this other sim over here, which leads us. I probably don't want to zoom into that because I can see it's a... No, that's part of this sim. Never mind. That's another stable. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no, people playing games and stuff. All good. I'm such a perv, aren't I? Aha. Uh -huh. Now why don't I do the coding? Dracus does the coding and he's tired. <laughs> Is that, I think that's what you meant, for our, All that coding would make you tired, yeah. It made him tired. He's gone. Got some pony play stuff here. The milk, the, what was it called again? Muffin milkers, right? Pretty cool. All these beehives. Got some fields going. Lots of fruit, some trees, some animals, and a sign that says, stay away, please do not touch. Yep. Someone riding a motorcycle over there. Whoa, zoom in. That's the thing with mainland, isn't it? You can... There's no one on it. Oh, it's a cloud on it. Yeah. Alright. Next, Decimero. Eternity Souls. Isaac. wonder if they're on this morning. Hope so. They're wonderful people to talk to. They've done a few changes to their sim and they're about to purchase. So right now they're on a homestead renting and they're about to purchase a full sim. Uh, so they get the full 20,000 rim to use. Turn the sound on. You're loading. There we go. <laughs> so they're going to start. So Eternity Souls are going to start hosting game Sundays or Sunday game night in a tavern. And they're going to start advertising in our um, SLC community hub group. Try and get some community members in here. To play some games as a community. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well. I'd like to see people come and join other uh, members events. It really grows the community spirit of this game. Alright, turn that down a bit. Yeah, he's a lot of fun, I think. Whoop, missed the door. So they still have the main market area and they've now put their private residence up on a hill and such, but this area here, am I in the right spot? It's got mermaids, I've got to turn the sound back on. You can hear mermaids singing and such as you walk past. Cool, eh? 
So this is their new um, mining area, I believe. Turn the sound off. And they got, uh, every, you can mine all sorts of things here. And it leads to like a relaxing um, view point where you can just have a chat as a community or with your friends. See, there's some clay here, some iron. Am I going the right way? I probably went the wrong way, to be honest. If I touch it, does it go hurt you? I can put damage scripts in this one. So yeah, they're going to have a full sim soon. And I'll make a, a really big RP with more uh, levels to live in and more farms and such. So it's going to be cool. Here it is. So there's a bit of an interaction area here. You sit down, have a chat, relax, and have a whole view of the whole village. See so yeah, how they change this up a little bit. So they're going to be busy. Coming soon under construction. What are they building? Okay. What's he doing? Oh, builders brewery. Yep, yep, yep. What are they doing over here? Eh? Hey. Watching is. I'm watching is. <laughs> they will move the whole thing. Yeah, because this is a rental rented homestead. Um. And they will rebuild. I mean, it didn't take them long to rebuild this. It took them a good week. And they did all this. It's got a few layers on it. But the, the issue is the prims. They haven't got enough prims. And they want to build a much bigger sim. And they're really there. Yeah, it does look really nice. And they're really nice people. Isaac and uh, Roxy. So Freya, if you're looking for a home, they're looking for members as well. And it is an active sim. Um... Let's go Hidden Garden. Hidden Garden by Circe's. Circe's? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Small little gardens. already have one that's good I meant um for SLC if you're looking to play SLC unless your home has SLC stuff I'm not sure where you're at these days um, like in sanctuary also looking for members yep and he's not required one have pause to join just have respect that law <laughs> No, so you don't have to have pause. Yes, Lycan Sanctuary is also a very nice sim. And very nice members. I've met a few of them. Okay, next is Horseaholics, which is Dark Angels land, or the RP area is. Horseaholics. Is Dark on? I don't even know if Dark's online. I haven't checked. Normally he's in the uh, live chat gambling. Gambling all his coins away. No, nah, he's not online. That's a shame.
Yeah, Isaac and that just saw me. They must know the stream's on. What's going on? Don't lose all your money. Wow. You got a few coins. Ah, the portal takes you to the kingdom. this ah uh, it's an SLC store thing that's a pretty cool little way to do it like that you don't play a high roller lighter come on put 2267 coins on the gamble Let's see what happens <laughs> Uh, the Hobbit Hole. How do you like the uh, lighter? The fields we got rid of that. Well, we didn't get rid of it. We gave you the option to. Uh, Remove the hover text, uh, the uh, growth hover text, and have the timer. Do you prefer the timer? Next, Sam Jackie Clarinet's house. Mrs. Jackie Clarinet. Um, I think it was just a little house on. I believe it was a premium land um, let's see if it's still active and still has SLC stuff or if I have to move some of the uh, stem down no it's still got SLC stuff here it's not all unpacked so it's a private residence you should replace the um, boundary with big fruit tree Break. Blackberry bush, right? They're modifiable now, so you could make this blackberry bush. It's pretty much the same mesh. The timer, 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 timer. Timer of what? Am I missing something? Less intrusive than a bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was just asking you about the hover text. You're talking about that timer. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Lycan Sanctuary. I'm going there since I know. Um, Lighter is here. Lycan Sanctuary is Lighter's sim. Mm. So I've been here a few times on stream. And I'm guessing. Uh, there is a guest that wishes to join our stream. And his name is uh, Dracus. So let's bring him on. Hello, Dracus. Hello. Hello, Sleepy. Were you sleeping? <laughs> uh, no, I got distracted. Ah. And so, yep. Welcome. Distracted Dracus, like usual. Oh. oh. Hello, Billy. Oh, hang on. I'm, um, should I turn my voice on lighter, or you, um, or you want to type? Let me know. Cause I don't want to double up in your. Um... Yeah, let's. I'll, I'll voice. I'll voice. I'll turn on voice. You can turn off my um, dream side of it. Hey, lighter. How's everything going? It's going well. 
Cool. So no more monsters on your land, I saw. He lives, Freya says he lives. <laughs> Freya is um, Nike. She used to play on Regina's seminars before we went to Counter oh, Earth. Okay. By the way, Regina, <laughs> who's also listening. I... There we go. Okay. I'm actually glad that the monsters aren't on the farm yeah. because they would sometimes goof and go after pack members if they log if they so if did they you in or I know I'm like an hour late one. did you happen to mention my idea hang on one sec um tracks because I'm on voice to a lighter at the same time but um yes I did mention the idea for the melon fields and we did discuss it actually and well everyone likes your idea we're just discussing where um Strawberries and such will go though, and um, what if I just add strawberries to the herb fields? Mm, the herb fields, strawberries, because it's the same style of plant, mm. and, it, and it requires yeah, kind of the same attention. The berries, and I like the strawberries and the melons. Oh, oh, just makes me mouth water. <laughs> so you can't hear um, Dracus because I'm in voice chat in uh, Lycan Sanctuary and Light is uh, her, 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 she's drooling because we're talking about all the wild berries and the uh, strawberries and such because I am going to add all the wild berries to the, to the wine press um, on a ratio of 2 to 1 all the ones you can get in the compass um, so you can make juices um, maybe I should teleport you over here Dracus I yeah, I'm looking for it on the just list be able right to now. Juice all the berries. <laughs> mm, juice the berries. Herb strawberries. Hmm. Herb garden strawberries. Hmm. Yeah. That, or that, I could uh, do a. I don't know. It, it's because most berries grow on bushes. Yeah, most berries grow um, on bushes. It's and... like sh strawberries are kind of like unique. Hmm. Because they. They're a small plant, Hi, like an herb. Yeah. Dracus is loading up his voice, I think, in Lycan. Lighter said hi, Dracus. Oh, my voice is here. There cool. we go. Cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, definitely. Uh, good to see you. Um, this, of course, is Billy. Mushrooms. What about mushrooms? Yes, mushrooms are coming eventually. We keep saying they're coming. <laughs> 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 Yeah, mushroom fields would be nice because uh, mushrooms are nice to cook with. Yeah. Well, for a mushroom, I got to do a new style because you need a covered. Um, mm -hmm. You do. Uh, a, like a greenhouse type thing. Mm, and, with humidity. Yeah. So you need something with coverings to keep the humidity in. And what it'll be is you just take, you'll take 10 mushrooms, plant them in a week later, come back and get. Hey. I don't know. Yes, Drakus, and FYI, I think your microphone might be your webcam microphone because it's not as nice. Really? Um, are you listening? It shouldn't be my webcam microphone. Let me check. But if I hear you, I think if I hear you in Second Life, your voice will be different. I bet you your, your voice in Second Life will be your mic. Maybe the uh, web-based one is the wrong one. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's better. There. Microphone. So your microphone in Second Life is right. There we go. How's that? Is that better? Yeah. Now we got your proper mic on that stream is. too. Yep. Okay. So in Second Life it was fine, but in the collab cam thing on stream it was going off your webcam or something. I think. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, that's fixed now. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm, I'm used to you having yeah, a so deeper I'm, voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to do hopefully a... Oh, one second. Be right back. I love mushrooms on my pizza, Lighter says in chat. Yes. Mushrooms. How about pineapples? Do you do pineapple? 
Um, I used to do pineapple on my pizza. Mmm, pineapple. Okay. Nicola, don't do pineapple. Unfortunately, I developed weird. a real life allergy to pineapple. Yeah, pineapple is mm. a very decisive um, ingredient on pizza. I love it personally. I love it too, but it don't love me anymore. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, Um, unfortunately, this weekend, I've been working on back-end stuff again. mm -hmm. Um, Cleared up a problem with the merchant and storage um, storages. Yep. There was a problem with... um, Ganymede was having such trouble with that. Well, what it was, was the trade goods... The trade goods would sometimes, if you use them all up, you had zero trade goods in your inventory, it would screw up the storage app because it was an item that was not money, but it had zero inventory and it didn't like that. So mm. um, I fixed that hopefully permanently. Um, I've been working on some back end for performance on the website. So I haven't gotten to what I wanted to get to this weekend, Mm -hmm. which was adding more items to the system. But I have found a cacao tree. Oh, yeah. So we could add chocolate to the system. Ooh, chocolate is a gatherable. I would love that. I'm looking for a coca tree so we can have, or, um, oh, what's the, an arabica tree. So we can add coffee to the system also. Ooh. Ooh. Um, also good. Um, I don't really do coffee in real life, but it's something that people would really, really want. Especially oh, if the yeah. stats are energy-based and fatigue-based. It, mm. it will be. Mm. Um, so cacao for the chocolate. Um, Stuff has already been playing. I've been playing with the olives and um, elixirs. I'm going to add wild berries. Oh, wild berries. I'm writing my list here. Wild I actually berries. have a list of berries that I want to add. And I wanted to ask you guys in mm-hmm. chat, would you prefer just more types of berry bushes? Or would you prefer like a berry mm-hmm. field similar to the vineyard, but... Um, instead of poles and wires, it would just be rows of bushes. I actually mm. would like a berry field. Though berries uh, uh, on gatherable bushes is, is a nice notion, too. Because we can do go either way. Because um, they grow on bushes, and the reason we made the berry bushes the way we did that was, was actually for it was for a um, an event we were doing mm. and we needed dividers and I said well we don't want dividers that just do nothing so let me make these rectangle bushes berry bushes and we have them as dividers and it was right as we came out with the fruit trees so mm. they use the same scripts as the fruit trees yeah I think I would prefer the fields the thing I with mean, the bushes, the bushes are good. Keep them. Freya says bushes myself, but the thing with the bushes is certain berries wouldn't grow on those sorts of bushes, right? Where the fields you could do all types of designs, I suppose, mm. with the with the textures. Mm. Could. And some berries grow on trees. We'll some <laughs> on, yeah. Maybe we'll do some, some bushes. We'll add a mm. field for the types that would grow in a field. And maybe we'll do some trees. I'll just have to research. But I have a whole list of berries from elderberry, boysenberry. Oh, we got heaps of berries um, in the in the wild berry list. In our yeah, berry uh, loot and, tape in the compass. So I've got so many. And I want to leave those things in the compass. I think mm. as we add them to different 30, fields and gatherables. Thirty-one different berries. Wanna, Thirty different berries. Yeah. Because the compass is like, okay, you found a handful of berries on the ground that have fallen off a tree or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But all these berries there, all those ones in the in the berry table, I'm going to add to the wine press uh, over the next day or so. Uh, so you can make oh, juices. That's a good idea. Tomatoes. And tomatoes, that's it. That's what I was looking for in my head. Tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes are actually technically a berry. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yeah. 
there's some weird crossovers between mm. fruits, vegetables, and berries. And... There are. Uh, but yeah, the the uh, pumpkin, um, the pumpkins track is the this mm. field for melons. Everyone was uh, quite interested about pumpkins and making jack o' lanterns oh. and stuff mm. since you know Halloween is coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Do pumpkins, um, squash, mm. uh, cantaloupe, pumpkins, squash, cantaloupe. Honeydew, watermelon. Uh, yeah, my mouth's watering. <laughs> yeah, so I'll work on because that's it's going to be a totally different type of mesh field because they don't grow in the rows nice and neatly that um, like wheat does or corn. True. Or, mm. So, um, are well, you going to randomize? I'm trying it? to just. I think I'm going to randomize it a little bit. Interesting. Uh, well, when you have those ready, you know I'm going to have to get a few. <laughs> and the scripts are the same. The scripts will be exactly... I could put it out today if we use the same field <laughs> mesh. Yeah. But yeah, that's the... It's, you, it's the... You want to um, do a different... Yeah. 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 And I'm thinking of throwing in a little change to try it. Um, is having two grow phases and in the middle of the grow phase a um, pruning or weeding phase so it'll grow halfway and then you have to prune it or weed it and then it'll grow the rest of the way mm. I actually like that this mm. would be a test because it's theoretically possible with the way I made the scripts but getting the growing right so it'll stop growing and not reset the growing on the second grow phase. That's going to be the difficult part. Mm. Oh, I'm definitely interested. Very cool. Very, very good. That's on the API. So, um, what else did I have planned? I had a whole bunch planned for this weekend. But... Well, I guess that means yes for the melon field. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Mel Melonfield goes on the list. Sweet. Strawberries. Um, I did have another herb I wanted to request for the herb fields. Besides a garlic oh. that's still on the list that hasn't been added yet. Yes. <laughs> I was supposed to add that this weekend as well. It's <laughs> what I wanted not... was time. Ah, time. what? Haven't you got enough time? time. <laughs> Did we have? Well, we can never have enough time. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Have we got? Have we? Have we, we not got time sage, in there? Rosemary. Let me have a look I at the list. Yeah, barley, barley sage. sage. You do have bar. Uh, oh shit, we don't. You don't have parsley. And we, we don't, don't have, have time. Parsley either. How can you we sing the song if we don't have parsley in time? What the hell? Exactly. That's why I'm saying you need parsley and thyme, and you still need the garlic, <laughs> and we need all the mint. Oh, and mint. Ah, and and spear mint then. <laughs> mint, garlic, thyme, parsley. Holy shit! All these things are important ingredients and not even in there. Oh yo yo. What else is it? I know this. Uh... Yeah, I'm the cook here, and I would like some parsley, yeah. sage, rosemary, and thyme Here's all together. We've, so far. we've even got lavender, Take of oil, palm yeah. fur refuse, foxglove, goldenrod, ladies' mantle, lavender, lavage, pinrose, yeah. poppy, mm. primrose, rosemary, sage, sorrel, vervain, wintergreen, winter of year. Huh, yeah. Any time. Mm. And I've still got to get the textures. I think I've got textures for like four of these in the system. Yeah, Freya, it is a lot missing without realizing yeah. it. We've got so much in the system Actually, and so much we could add. <laughs> there are four herb fields that have textures and the rest look like they're growing wheat. Uh-oh. All have textures and some look like they're growing wheat. Your herb fields. Oh, open here. 
here's all, all my herb fields. And Take if you weight. look... The what? That's not a re Yeah, most the of them have the exact same ruffle, texture. The winter I green and... But it's using the weight texture for some reason. That the, never happened before. Text, everything else looks like it's growing weight. It's never happened before. Because we don't use that UID at all in the uh, herb gardens. Interesting. No, I have to figure out what what UUID. Uh, just maybe it's a default one that it. comes. Yeah, it is. Yep. So then it's, it's the default for because the there's no ones. UUID set. Yeah. So we need to fix the herb garden textures. Oh, a few little things yeah. you got to work on. A few little things here. And it. I thought I had the textures for everything, but I can't find them. So. It might um, have been on that drive that I lost. Yeah, get on um, that Adobe stock for me, and I'll I'll get all licensed for you, so we have no we can use them commercially and not have any issues with using the textures, if you like. I've got I get fifty credits a month with Adobe, so use that all the textures if we can, if we want. It would really be nice to see the different kinds of herb. Hmm. All right, so we got half an hour left, roughly. We need to pick a reward this week. Hmm. Herb garden. Herb garden? Yep. Herb garden is a good choice because, quite frankly, they're useful. And it's a new up. It's a newest update, so I may as well do the herbs, All right? Um, herb garden, like a pack of eight or a herb pot. Oh. And there, you might, you people may notice an error with the medium field specifically. Mm -hmm. um, that when you're starting them or when you're um, doing each step, they'll give you a message in local that that message will be gone on the next update. Oh, because yeah. Because it, it's just a channel set wrong for the new quest system. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Notice that when bug with planting so you got the new yeah, wet so. fields growing cool yep like all all the fields here have been updated and i'm so glad of it they look like they're really doing nice much better and every all right, single let's one do a... has that timer text because oh, i love it it looks like they're growing properly in the wet fields. The the prim is actually transparent like it's supposed to be. So Yeah, so you can see the rice when it's just a little baby plant. Good. This looks like it's going really well. That was a really big update and I was worried about all sorts of errors with it, but it seems it's going well. It does seem to be going quite well. Let's see how many points people have in chat. Top. I'll do a herb garden giveaway, I think. Let's have a look. How are we looking? So. I was no... thinking of selling a modding kit. Frey's got 15. Just a box. That you see these signs on the herb fields? Mm -hmm. Um. It, in the box, it would have one of those signs and a script. And basically, you can take that sign and attach it to any field, drop the script into the field, and it would put a sign like that on every type of field. Just a little mod that you, people could add. That would be cool. What do you think, Timogen? Hang on. Sorry. Go again. Sorry. I was typing in giveaway thing what was that well you see the signs on the herb fields right yep i can make a box that just has one of those signs in it and a script mm -hmm. and basically you take the sign you res it you link it to the field and you drop the script in the field and then it enables that type of sign on any field that you drop it into without having to link do the whole link thing link progress sign thing imajiggy well this isn't a progress sign it's a title right yeah, it's just a title. Yeah. Just, just says what's in the mm. field. Mm. Yeah, just it would just tell you what's growing. Yeah, that'd be cool. 
It could be handy because then you could remember what the hell you planted where. Especially if well, right now you can still do that with the link progress sign, but this is a lot lower prim and this is more about the, just um, the name of the item. It just pulls the name from the object, yeah. right? Which, it just on. pulls the name from the object you use to plant the field, so it would say like wheat seeds or what. Oh, uh, yep. Okay, so maybe yeah. Uh, nice thing i think that would be i don't know what category would we put that under giveaway starting giveaway starting we have a giveaway mm -hmm. for the herb garden eight plots it's a big giveaway Whoa. maximum is 15 tickets on today's raffle So, yep, as they're typing, just type the f exclamation mark raffle and a number of tickets you would like up to a maximum of 15 today. And then in uh, half an hour, I will... 25 minutes, I'll close it and then I will run the randomizer. Cool. Cool. Sorry, had to cough. All good. All good. So, what category do you think we should put mods like that in? Essentials. Yeah, essentials. It's an essential. Okay. It's just so. Yeah, what do you think we should sell it? Oh, it'd be cheap. It'd be like your link signs, wouldn't it? It'd be something they can yeah, just. It's copyable. Yeah. Just. It's just a box with a script and one of those signs in it. Mm hmm. There's something like our not yeah probably like our link sign progress sign. Is that a uh, is that him? Let me have a look in the Casper. Casper. Sorry, loading up Casper. So I think our link is our link progress signs even free. I think. Products. Time is free. Yeah, link progress signs are free. So it should be a free thing. It's a free little thing. Our essentials. Okay. We we'll just okay. add it in there as a free thing. Because a link progress sign dies more <laughs> and is free, so. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And this is just a mod to the field, so. Yeah, yeah. Just say. We'll work on that also. Yep. <laughs> cool. It's definitely a. There's okay. still not been any update on Firestorm, is there? Um, I saw there was a new beta. New version that yeah, came out. A new beta, and oh, they changed some stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, if you um, go into textures, it's totally different now. It's weird. In textures, what do you mean? In people's well, avatars? If you're using the new beta and. You go into edit something and then textures. Oh, they've changed um, it. All right. Here, I'll do a control print screen. They've changed it. So it's now it's confusing, is it? There, take a look at that. <laughs> put it in nearby chat. Magic of. Oh, what? That, yeah. Okay. That's different. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it, it will, it will make it, sense it after a while. Lot, it has a lot more information and yeah. a lot more usability. Yeah, it's because it of the new, getting used to. the new PBR material stuff, the metallic textures and all that stuff you can use now which is about time because that's really good textures to have ability uh -huh. so i was talking at the beginning of the stream drack is since I'm, I'm planning to upgrade my computer this computer here will end up being my uh probably just a streaming secondary computer i'm going to put it in a mini not a mini but a smaller case and stuff and it'll just do the encoding uh -huh. And I'll run. Yeah, so you need to, you'll need to get a stream card. Yeah, an encoder, a uh, capture card. Yep, yep, yep. 
I was looking at all that last night. So it's going to be fun. It's a good little project. Because I was thinking, what am I going to do with this computer? It's still such a good machine. Nothing wrong with it. So, it'll be, it would be focused yeah, just, on encoding. All I need to do is upgrade my monitor and my graphics card. Sweet. Everything else is done. So we've got two people in a raffle. No one else wants to get in a raffle. Regina, what are you doing? Regina. Only two people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying earlier, like I thought I'd do a stream on the weekend. It was great. I got the weekend off from work um, and there'd be more people online, but it seems there's uh, not as many people online. They took longer to get here. And um, strange. I've noticed there's not been many people on this weekend. Yeah. Is there some Is sort of event? Our... Yeah, it's dropped. I don't know. Normally the weekends. Our numbers are down to 40, so. Uh, just asking me if I want my pizza now or later. The answer is now. Yeah, pizza now. Now, now. now. shove it in your mouth. You, you should be hungry after talking about all those uh, juices and, you know, strawberries and wild berries. And you'd want your pizza now. Did I ever thank you adding Kitsune? Yeah. Possibility? You did. Billy has always been a Kitsune. Hmm. But we had Kitsune. Is that right, Freya? Four in 20 chance to win, is it? We do have Kitsune, but Four until 20. I see, not added. Two out of ten, one out of five chance to win. No, it's a 50 50. Oh, yeah. It's the last one we've added. Yep. Last one. Last one. Oh, the kit soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely my preferred race for Ganymede, um, Billy, and for Ramona. So three of my alts are kit soon. Kit soon. There's actually oh, a few I, people I using kit soon. There's um, quite a few people who were grateful for it. I always thought because... Kitsune was more like a lichen of some of in type. Just a female lichen, isn't it? No. A Kitsune is a fox. Or a fox lichen. It's not necessarily always fox lichen. Um, sometimes they're spirit in nature, so they're spirit. Oh, okay. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine kitsunes in the system. Body. Damn. So it was a popular I race. I know at least one kitsune is, that is not one of my alts, so. Yeah. Um, there's a few. Of course, um, one of the automatons in the system is uh, Umbly the Butcher. Oh, yeah. Who is a lot of angels? There's only one automaton, a few centaurs, <laughs> quite a few oh, changelings. That's the only automaton. There's one automaton automaton in the system. There must be from Fallout, um, and that is a butcher. Oh, a level six butcher. Androgynous. Is that's that yours? That's you. Yes, that's one of mine. Yeah, of course it's you. Those Centaurs, <laughs> changelings, demons. It's quite a few dream demons. Quite a lot of dragonborns. Mm. I have one alt that's Oh, that's uh, why there's no one here. It's 420 in the yeah. States. Oh. Uh, yes. Everybody's off getting high. Mm, yeah, in the States. Yeah, they're all partying. A lot of elves. Actually, that's probably the most common. Elf, Fae, Fawn, uh, Four Fawns, Two Goblins, Alverbia, and the Grey Beard. Lots of Goreans. So Jeez. Has anybody taken on the race of Golem? Uh, Golem. No. No one's a Golem. Interesting. Know the date. Good, I'm glad oh, the you, date, 420, yes. I'm glad it's not. Um, I'm also glad that um, Umbly can be the automaton because uh, there's reasons Umbly's an automaton. Drack to the rescue. 
<laughs> Actually, humans are the most popular race. And most of the freaking system is human still because it is the most balanced stats, I suppose. Kitsune, we've yeah. looked at them. There is one lizard folk, which is a RKGGGD, and they're actually a level 12, so in way level 13, so they're playing lizard folk. Hmm. Three a couple of minotaurs, Nephilims, two orcs, pixie fairies, it's two priest kings. Wow. Okay. One Satire. of the people that's running around as a priest king is not actually in priest king form. Yeah. Yeah. She runs around as a human. She didn't understand what a priest king was. <laughs> she just thought, priest king. Oh, I rule. <laughs> Yeah, you don't realize that it's a big mantis looking thing. <laughs> yeah, she didn't realize that. And I think she didn't like the fact that we told her that. Whoops. That's all right. Well, everybody be has their own RPs. So. Yeah. Actually, I think after she was told that, she changed to Kitsune. Oh, well, and there's other priest kings then. Very cool. I am actually loving playing with the system so much. We are glad. <laughs> yes. I enjoy making it for people to enjoy. Mm hmm. It keeps us going. And I am so I just, glad I had that li this latest update out and done with. So the fields that was yeah, a, yeah the, that was a, a long time waiting. Off of me. It's one of the biggest things in the system that was needed, I think, because a lot of people were like, "Ah, oh, we need monsters to protect our fields and all that." And uh, I know originally we wanted the system to be wide open so people could steal stuff and things, but not everyone role plays in that way. So we need the security. Yeah. It put a lot of people does. off. And... Um, I'm not particularly fond of the notion of um, being attacked and looted. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You hear Drakus that uh, Isaac, else Isaac we need to discuss. Isaac and Roxy are um, doing a new sim again. Again. Well, this time they're buying a Linden Lab sim, a full sim with 20,000 uh, land impact. Oh, uh, okay. They uh, found the um, homestead just a little too restrictive. Too restrictive, yeah. And having your own, going through Linden Lab saves you quite a bit of money. Long term. Oh, yeah, it saves you half. Yeah. So, I mean, you pay up front a little more. But in the long term, you're paying half of what you... And you can walk place. away. You can, you can go on vacation in real life and not have to worry about paying some tier box, you know. Yeah. It'll come out of your account. Yep. Yeah. That's how I lost a few sims in my past. Go on vacation or, or need a break from Second Life, but not enough of a break that I want to stop my everything. But I forget about the sim and I don't want to log in and it's gone. Oh, I always kept mine I at least two months ahead, so... Mm. No, I never did that. For thirty dollars more, you can get thirty thousand prim. Yeah, that's right, Regina. Yep. If, I'm, if I get a full sim, yeah. I'm going that thirty thousand prim. For a role play sim, it's needed. I if I had the chance to get a sim, I'd actually want to get one on mainland beside a road. Hmm. Oh, that, that Angel Whispers has that. There's a couple and um. Yeah, Angel Whispers has but one. You can't. I don't think you can get the extra thirty thousand prim on mainland. And Zola Bell has one on mainland too. Um, no, I don't think you can on mainland. No. I am just glad that I have what I have here at Lycan Sanctuary because this sim is where I came to find my peace of mind when all the rest of Second Life was driving me bonkers. Hmm. Actually, that 20,000 prim, you probably do get around 30,000 prim now with that new update that Second Life came out with that saves some of the prim. 
um, on the weight of the items. Yes. So you should. So 30 really feels like 35, 40 now. We gained some um, prims around here mm. because of that update. Mm. It's good. You can save a lot more if you if you build roleplay sims and you be careful on the physics. You turn off the physics and link your stuff to uh, to low weighted mesh and get rid of physics on things that don't need physics. Things that are up in the sky, things that are up high that don't need physics around it. Um, you just reduce everything. Um, and the textures too. If you go alpha, um, well, no, not textures don't do anything on a sim. That's more the PC, the personal computer. Um, but if you do alpha masking instead of alpha blending, it, re it helps with the frame rate of people's players, uh, of players' PCs as well. And it stops the leaking to textures with other transparents. Um, yeah, cool. I had to um, change the surround that I have around this level of the sim so mm. that uh, the transparencies of other things and the um, oh, yeah. surround didn't conflict. Yeah, all our fields though, uh, we've used the alpha masking to prevent it leaking through. But you've got some trees, I suppose, that would have... Um, yeah, we have some trees that are not part of the colony system. Mm. Because... Um, yeah, see, I can see it. So, when you turn on transparency, and if you see blue, that's using alpha masking, um, which is better on performance of computers and stuff, and also doesn't leak when there's other transparent um, textures behind it. But if you've got red, that's using alpha blending. So, if you've got other... It, say water or you've got other textures um, behind it you'll see leaking like you can see it on my screen too you can see this it's leaking into the other even with the transparency on on my screen I've turned it to red cam and everything that's in the fields is red oh you've changed it to red oh see the wines haven't um, been changed to blue hang on mm. Yeah, you know, yes they are. Half it. Look at my stream um track. What's going on here? Oh no, okay. So half of it, some of it is, some of it isn't. Um, the growth prim isn't. I don't think masking. It's blending unless it's the uh, actual um huh. fence. It's weird that some of the oh that's. The herb garden because the textures aren't set. Um, oh, yeah. the vineyards. That's the um, the ones that you're seeing. That I think aren't it's a post. Blue is the posts in the wires. Yeah. Okay. We can. That's easy okay. to fix. But yeah. It's cool. Otherwise, most everything else is uh, for masking, not blending. Which is good. I noticed our basic trees aren't masking. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, they aren't. But they're supposed to be. Hmm. We can, we can fix, fix that. that in the boxes. Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing I'm supposed to be doing. What's um, that? I have to change out everything in our Casper vendors to be a generic version oh. of what it is. And when you res it out for the first time, it tells you to use the updater. To get the most current version. Yep, yep. Mm. It's a bit of work though. A lot of fuffling around with packaging and updating all the customer and blah blah blah. Yeah, that is a lot of fuffling around. You don't but like people don't realize how much we've got. <clears throat> we didn't. We don't even realize it. Sometimes we go, we think what we got in our system, but then you actually look and how many different packagings we got how many videos i got to make to do all the updated videos so many all the new artwork it's heaps i'm definitely still having fun yeah because i told you about the jolly rum 
Yes. The rum. Oh, oh, oh. And um, in a few days, I will have peppermint sulpaga ready to put in an aging, aging barrel. Nice. All right, I'm going to close the raffle in a minute and then get ready to end the stream. I do have a few things I need to go do in real life, so I do need to stop the stream in time, on time, in time, on time, um, in the next 10 minutes, and then run off. Um, so how many people are playing? Is it still just two of yous? Is it two of yous? We sure. There's five viewers. Two people playing in the raffle only. Hmm. That's actually funny. Yeah. Isaac, Roxy are here. They don't want red video over there. In... Not watching the stream then. Oh, well. Close the entries. Oh, my music left. Oh, I'll wait a minute for the entries. Uh, let's put music back on royalty free. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. What is? Oh, I'm looking at the auctions for land, and there's a full sim available for auction right now on mainland that's a coastal sim. Oh, that could be nice. right back. No, oh, you're going to go have a look at this sim. <laughs> have a look at the sim. Um, let's go background music. Mm. Has to be royalty free. If I put music on otherwise, it will stop the sounds on the live stream. Let's see. There we go. Little lab is a way to go, as it's cheaper than third party. Yep, always good. Yeah. All right, let's do the close the giveaways. Close entries. <coughs> and it's lighter and frayer in this one. Freya, be cool if you win, because do you still use some of the SLC stuff, Freya? Or the home you've got, have it still got some SLC stuff, or...? Scary that I know all this. It stuff. wasn't a full region. Wasn't? Uh. Nah. It had a slice taken out of it right down the middle of it. Oh, uh, for the road? No, for another parcel. Uh -huh. And it's like all the region around it is a single parcel and it's for sale, but that one slice in the middle. Hmm. Damn. Oh, well. Yeah, I know. We know Freya lived at the kingdom. Nike, Nike. Have you been back since? Have okay. you seen Regina's new build, Freya? It's worth having a look. It's quite good. And where our main store is is pretty much a main, a whole sim, almost almost a whole sim of abandoned land. So we could, yeah. but. Uh, Oh, that man All we'd have to do is contact Governor Linden. Governor Linden, fix it up, man. Fix it up. It could be. I mean, that's how I got our, our two parcels together, because mm. <clears throat> one was available, the other one was abandoned land, and I said, hey, can you parcel this off and, and give us two next to each other? And they said, yeah, yeah. here you go. Done. Nice. All right, guys, I am going to do the raffle giveaway and see who wins this. Let's do a pick winner button. Pick winner. And it ooh, looks like it is Freya. Chicken dinner. Well, congrats, Freya. Congrats. 
Normally, uh, Lyda always wins. And when uh, <laughs> and when Kai was on stream a lot, he used to always win. People were like, how come you always win? Huh. Lyda wins when there's more than three people in the raffle. Um, she always just wins. <laughs> yeah, you're, so the Herb Garden, I'll give you a box, and it's going to be eight. Um, eight plots, eight small plots Herb that you can plots. put somewhere. Because I'm Billy right now, I'd say I am nine tails lucky. Nine tails lucky. <laughs> <laughs> right, get a Casper. Um, so this week, my goal is going to be getting all the textures for the herbs in. And oh, I yep. will look on Adobe and send you the links for the Adobe textures if if there's any suit. Cool. I'm going to do... And all the wild berries are going to become juiceable in the wine press and tomatoes are going to be added to the wine press as well. Now, there is an issue that um, I know about it. I'm not emergency fixing it because it's not a huge issue. But if you have more than 12 um, seeds in your inventory for a certain type of field, you'll mm -hmm. have to dump some of them out in order to get them on your list so you can actually plant. Yeah, Regina um, mentioned that, yeah. I can fix it in the next update, but it's not an emergency thing, so I'm not pushing that right now. Mm. Okay. I haven't run into that particular problem. Yeah, well, it's probably because you're carry... not you're probably not like Regina that carries a hundred and fifty different items in your inventory and stuff, you know. Yeah. Well, there's a reason why there's this huge old storage shed because <laughs> between Regina. Everybody here, listening? it's easier to keep um, things that we all might need in the shed than to keep it in some of these pockets. Yeah. Whereas, I do know that <laughs> Regina you know, laughing in shed. Peter always has the yeast and wood chips in his inventory because nobody else uses them. One day, smart when we work on the combat system more, and unconscious states and stuff like that we might i've always been a um someone who wants to do this but when you're unconscious i want to add the ability to be able to tie people up move them around and stuff if they've killed if you in pvp i'm talking pvp and um you can loot them out of things they have in their personal inventory hmm only if yeah they i have think PvP i'm gonna have to turned on more yeah, PvP storage on. closets because uh be fun but you're not a person that would have pvp that turned on no nah, you wouldn't have sure pvp things. you wouldn't have pvp turned on so you wouldn't have to worry about that sort of stuff no, but wouldn't. yeah be cool I mean, some of me uh, some of my alts might might do pvp on but uh most no mm. okay well i'm going to head out Zolabai and I were talking about this. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we were talking. We did talk about diseases once. I think even uh, you did later mention diseases, and spreadable diseases. Diseases will come <clears> in <throat> when I. There's a portion built into the system already. I built it in week one of building it, um, for d duration status effects. Mm. So you can have something that affects your stats for a duration. Yeah, buffs and debuffs. Um, yeah, um, and when I get that working, that's when we'll introduce diseases. Mm. Um, but it's, I don't want to run into the thing where you get a troll who catches a disease on purpose and then TPs around to everybody trying to give them that disease. Yeah. Um, so. Admittedly, yeah. Um, if you had the way that the disease was obtained from an object were item on the compass well I'm thinking um, like rats would give you the plague um, that would make perfect sense to me um, or eating raw meat would give oh, you yeah. um, the Belgian disease called item. mad cow yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
So there's just different things. Um, but that's for a way, way future update. That's even after I add the, um, the class HUDs and, um, enchanting and yeah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah. This is way out of left field, but did you ever add wolf to the butcher table? No. That's a Timogen question. I haven't. People want to eat wolf? No. Um, in one of the storage cabinets, there is a wolf carcass that Dove wanted to cut up for possible use in potions. Okay. Interesting. Wolf. I'll have to look at that. Oh. All right, I'm going to end the stream here. I've added that with this wolf question to my list of things to look into. Um, so I um, hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, congratulations, Freya, on the herb garden. Just sent that to you, so you should get it in game now. Um, and we'll see you all on the next one. Hey, eh? thanks, Lyda, for your hospitality here again. Um, um, we'll catch you all later. To see you guys. For a visit. No way. Um, Catch you later, Lida. You guys. Peace. Take care.